Hello and welcome to English Star. Today I am going to present before you a story, a game of chance. Students, have you ever heard about the game of chance? What do you think? What kind of game is it? Guessing? Let's find out. First of all, let's discuss. Have you ever won anything in a lucky dip or such a game of chance? Do you like such games? Think about it. Think about the time you might have gone to the village fair or a mela where you have seen some shops where this lucky dip game is there or we call it as game of chance. Here is a definition of lucky dip. A game in which prizes are covered up and mixed together in a container so that contestants can dip their hand into the container and random and randomly pull out a prize. Right students? So a lucky dip is a kind of game where you have to try your luck. So that's why it is called a lucky. You may win a prize or may lose also. So let's find out what's there in the story. We start with the reading. Here is a brief summary, background of the story. A game of chance narrates story of Rashid, a boy who recollects an event in the Eid Fair which is held every year for days. Rashid's uncle agreed to take him to the fair with his servant. Rashid addresses the servant as Bhaiya. In the fair, his uncle happens to meet few of his friends and uncle went away leaving Rashid with Bhaiya. Let's find out how Rashid spent his time in the fair. So let's listen to the story first. A game of chance. Every year on the occasion of Eid, there was a fair in our village. Eid was celebrated only one day, but the fair lasted many days. Tradesmen from far and wide came there with all kinds of goods to sell. You could buy anything from a small spin to a big buffalo. Uncle took me to the fair. Bhaiya, who worked for us at home, came with us. There was a big crowd at the fair. Uncle was leading us through the crowd when he met a few of his friends. They wanted him to spend some time with them. Uncle asked me whether I would like to look around the fair with Bhaiya till he came back. I was happy to do that. Uncle warned me neither to buy anything nor to go too far out while he was away. I promised that I would wait for him. Bhaiya and I went from shop to shop. There were many things I would have liked to buy, but I waited for uncle to return. Then we came to what was called the lucky shop. The shopkeeper was neither young nor old. He was a middle-aged man. He seemed neither too smart nor too lazy. He wanted everybody to try their luck. There were discs on the table with numbers from 1 to 10 facing down. All you had to do was to pay 50 paise, pick up any 6 discs, add up the number on the discs and find the total. The article marked with that number was yours. An old man paid 50 paise and selected 6 discs. He added up the numbers on them and found the total was 15. He was given the article marked 15, which was a beautiful clock. But the old man did not want a clock. The shopkeeper obliged him 
by buying it back for 15 rupees the old man went away very pleased then a boy a little older than i tried his luck he got a comb worth 25 paise the shopkeeper looked neither happy nor sad he bought the comb from the boy for 25 paise the boy tried his luck again he now got a fountain pen worth 3 rupees then he tried a third time and got a wrist watch worth 25 rupees when he tried again he got a table lamp worth more than 10 rupees the boy was happy and went away with a smile and a good deal of cash i wanted to try my luck too i looked at bhaiya he encouraged me i paid 50 paise and took six discs my luck was not too good i got two pencils the shopkeeper bought them from me for 25 paise i tried again this time i got a bottle of ink also of little value the shopkeeper bought that too for 25 paise i took a chance for the third time still luck was not with me i had hopes of winning a big prize and continued to try my luck again and again paying 50 paise each time but every time i got a trifle at last i was left with only 25 paise again the shopkeeper showed his kindness he said i could either play you once more with 25 paise or settle the account then and there i played again and the last 25 paise also disappeared people were looking at me some were laughing at my bad luck but none showed any sympathy bhaiya and i went to the place where uncle had left us and waited for him to return presently he came he looked at me and said rashid you look upset what is the matter i did not say anything bhaiya told him what had happened uncle was neither angry nor sad he smiled and patted me he took me to a shop and bought me a beautiful umbrella biscuits and sweets and some other little gifts then we returned home back home uncle told me that the lucky shopman had made a fool of me no uncle i said it was just my bad luck no my boy said uncle it was neither good luck nor bad luck but uncle i said i saw an old man getting a clock and a boy getting two or three costly things you don't know child uncle said they were all friends of the shopkeeper they were playing tricks to tempt you to try your luck they wanted your money and they got it now forget about it and don't tell anybody of your bad luck or your foolishness so you heard about the story now let's do some activities now we will do some valuable vocabulary here on the screen you can see i have picked up some words and phrases which will be very helpful for you in your day to day life and writing the words are on the occasion of 
from far and wide leading us through look around tried his luck good deal of looked at got a trifle playing tricks to tempt now students i am going to explain you one by one and also cite examples how these words and phrases are used in a sentence so let's move ahead friends here are the list of words and phrases picked out from the text i will explain each words and phrases and also cite examples first we start for it on the occasion of occasion means some happening some event it can be put it in a sentence as i sent my brother a rakhi and best wishes on the occasion of raksha bandhan so whenever we are doing something in an event or in some kind of happening we will write like this on the occasion of it may be on the occasion of holi it can be on the occasion of raksha bandhan it can be in on the occasion of independence day anything so you may frame your own sentence looking at this example let's move on to the next one from far and wide far and wide means in every direction right students it can be put it into sentence as due to the pandemic covid 19 migrant workers travel from far and wide right let's move ahead leading us through leading means to guide us through, to move forward to be ahead we can put it in in a sentence as leading us through a crisis like covid-19 pandemic requires foresightedness foresightedness means to look ahead it is a power of thinking ahead it is a power to visualize to have a vision of the future right students next phrase is look around look around means to search for we can put it into a sentence as as the lockdown opened i rushed to the market and looked around for eatables next tried his luck now what do you mean by luck luck is a is a, is a kind of mysterious force people believe it's a force a kind of power which is very important in our life which is having a lot of influence in our life in the form of good or bad so tried his luck we can put it in a sentence as he had always wished to become an actor so he went to mumbai and tried his luck next good deal of we can put it in a sentence as scientists are spending good deal of time in discovering covid-19 vaccine good deal of means good amount of okay once again the the example sentence scientists are spending a good deal of time in discovering covid-19 vaccine next looked at looked at means someone looking at somebody we can put it into a sentence as the mother looked at with tears of joy when she found her lost child the mother looked at with tears of joy when she found her lost child next got a trifle trifle means something very unimportant of little amount okay we can put it into a sentence as we were too much hungry but we get a trifle once again 
we were too much hungry but could get a trifle that means we got something not very important not very useful a small amount right students playing tricks to tempt example tricks means something someone something which is fooling the people and tempt means to provoke to do something which generally you will not like to do so some tricks means to make someone fool some something which makes you foolish about something and tempt means to make you do something which you might be unwilling to do so playing tricks to tempt we can put it into a sentence as children beware of people playing tricks to tempt you once again children beware of people playing tricks to tempt you well students revise this list of words and phrases which have been picked out from the text itself and also go through the examples revise it and then you write your own sentences i hope you will enjoy doing it right students let's move ahead now we will see about the message what the story conveys to us the moral message this story narrates how rashid was duped at the fair by the middle aged man the old man and the boy and how he was lured into the gambling game he his temptation and greed blinded his power of rational thinking through this story we learn to be rational and wise in every situation and should apply our scientific temperament in real life situations right students i hope you understood and learned from the story that in our life we have to use our mind our rationality before we take a decision or we take some kind of decision which is going to help to move ahead in life so if we are intelligent and wise no one can fool us like rashid who was fooled by the shopkeeper and he lost all his money unnecessarily similarly we should always be like the uncle who gave him the advice that we should it's not the luck but our intelligence our right choice that decides our action well students let's move ahead now we will be doing working with the text in the working with the text here are few activities activity a complete the following sentences from memory choosing a phrase from those given in brackets we will do this one followed by answer the following questions these are the questions based on the comprehension of the story so let's do it working with the text a complete the following sentences from memory choosing a phrase from those given in brackets One dash was held at the time of the Eid festival. Options are given: a big show, a big fair, a big competition. So students, guess which one? Yes, you guessed it right. It is a big fair. So we will write here a big fair. A big fair right students so this will be the correct answer next one two tradesmen came to the village with all kinds of goods to display to buy to sell tradesmen are the people who sell their products so definitely 
to sell will be there right students to sell so this is your correct answer now let's move ahead three uncle told me dash while he was away not to buy anything not to go anywhere not to talk to anyone so guess which one go back to the story and remember recollect what happened what uncle told while he was going to meet his friends uncle told not to buy anything right students uncle told me not to buy anything okay so this will be the correct answer four the owner of the lucky shop wanted everybody present to play the game to win a prize to try their luck the answer will be to try their luck so you will get this correct answer let's move ahead number 5 the first time i took a chance i got who is i here the rashid is the i here so remember what he won when he played the game of chance he won two pencils i got two pencils okay so this will be the correct answer number 6 uncle told me that the shopkeeper had made a fool of me a good profit friends with many people remember try to recollect what happens at the end uncle advises him tells him that the shopkeeper cheated on them so the answer will be uncle told me that the shopkeeper had made a fool of me made a fool of me so this will be your correct answer right students Let's move ahead. B. Answer the following questions. So here are list of six questions, and let's try doing it. Why do you think Rashid's uncle asked him not to buy anything in his absence? You will get the answer in para three. I will give you some hints. Listen to my answer. Rashid's uncle asked him not to buy anything in his absence because he knew that he knew that the shopkeepers would cheat him. Okay? So this was the reason why Rashid's uncle asked him not to buy anything because he was young. He might make a mistake. He might not understand who will cheat him. Right? Number 2. Why was the shop called lucky shop the answer will be the shop was called lucky shop because guess what why it was called lucky shop because the shopkeeper wanted everyone to try their luck at his shop all one had to do was to pay 50 paise pick up any six discs add up the numbers on the discs and find the total the article marked with that number would be theirs so this was the rule of the game at la lucky shop okay students so let's move on to the next question number 3 an old man won a clock and sold it back to the shopkeeper how much money did he make okay the old man tried his luck at the sh- lucky shop he paid 50 paise and selected six discs he added up the numbers on them and found the total was 15 he was given the article marked which was a beautiful clock he did not want a clock the shopkeeper obliged him by buying it back for 15 rupees 
the old man went away very pleased so this will be the answer of question number 3 let's move on to number 4 how many prizes did the boy win what were they how many prizes the boy did the boy win what were they so students can you answer this question is very simple it is given in the story you go back to para 6 and you will get it so the answer will be the boy was lucky enough and won four prizes in total he won a worth 25 paise then he won a fountain pen worth 3 rupees that time he won a wrist watch worth 25 paise and he went to win a table lamp which was worth more than 10 rupees okay students number 5 why was rashid upset rashid was upset because he had hopes of winning big prize and he continued trying his luck again and again but every time he got a trifle people were looking at him and laughing at his bad luck but no one showed any sympathy he played till he finished all his money that's why rashid was upset right students number 6 in what way did the shopkeeper make a fool of rashid you will get the answer in paragraph number 11 so the answer will be the shopkeeper played tricks to tempt him to try his luck by making him believe that it was luck that got the old man and the boy their prizes but in reality they were friends of the shopkeeper therefore rashid tried his luck again and again but only got some cheap things which he sold back to the shopkeeper and lost all his money right students so this will be your answer go through the all the questions once again remember what i said and also try to recollect the story go back to the story revise the story and paragraph wise the numbering para numbers are given read the paragraph and write your answers correctly right students now let's move ahead with the working with language there are very important parts besides knowing about the story we have to also know about the language part which will help us to hone up to sharpen our language skills in this also there are two activities two three activities are there mentioned here a the words given against the sentences below can be used both as nouns and verbs use them appropriately to fill in the blanks b notice the use of there in the following sentences now rewrite the following sentences using there in the beginning look at the following examples c fill in the blanks in the paragraph below with words from the box so here is an overview of three kinds of exercises under working with language and we will do it together i am going to explain you one by one and how the language functions in a story in a text so let's have a look working with language a the words given against sentences below can be used both as nouns and verbs use them appropriately to fill in the blanks students let's start doing it one the two teams have dash three matches already and number 2 is the last days dash was excellent so here is a word play now we have to use play as a verb or noun as per the requirement so in the first sentence the two teams have so after the auxiliary verb have there will be a main verb so we have to make play as the main verb and the third form of the verb so it will be two teams have played three matches already right students number 
the last days so you have to talk about the word what okay something now some name so play will be used as now the last days play was excellent okay so we will write here play and in the one the number one we will write played number two she has a lovely face number two in india faces a number of problems these days so here it will be used as a verb india faces she has a lovely face it is a noun right students so next we see her three he made his mark in essay writing he made his mark in essay writing so this is used as noun number two articles articles marked sold are reserved articles marked sold are reserved m a r k e d marked so here it's a verb here it will be noun four the police are combing the area to catch the burglars com will become ing because r is there continuous tense present continuous the police are combing the area to catch the burglars and in number 2 an ordinary plastic com costs 5 rupees here it will be used as a noun an ordinary plastic com costs 5 rupees are the students let's move ahead number 5 he gave a smile in answer to my question he gave a smile so gave a smile smile is a noun here and in number 2 we also smiled to see him smile we also smiled to see him so here it will be used as a verb number 6 he said he hoped to be invited to the party he hoped verb Two, he gave up hope of his joining the party. He gave up hope. Gave up what? Hope. Now it will be used as a now. So first one is verb. The second one is now. Right, students. Next. Seven. The boys put up a good athletic show. The boys put up a good athletic what? Show. A now. it is used as a noun the soldiers showed great courage in saving people from floods showed it's an action so it is used as a verb s h o w e d 8 you deserve a pat on the back for your good performance deserve a pat deserve a what something okay name of something pat you deserve a pat on the back for your good purpose so here it will be used as a noun and the second one the teacher patted the child on the cheek to encourage her here is an action verb patted p a t t e d the teacher patted the child on the cheek to encourage her well students i hope it will help you to write your answers in your notebook let's move ahead Notice the use of there in the following sentences. There was a big crowd at the fair. There were many things I would have liked to buy. Now rewrite the following sentences using there in the beginning. Look at the following examples. I can do nothing to help you. There is nothing I can do to help you. A man at the door is asking to see you. There is a man at the door asking to see you. So here you can see how the sentence is modified by using there. Right students, let's give a try to the questions. This park has beautiful roses. So you have to use there. Right students? So you have to write there are b 
beautiful horses sorry there are beautiful roses in this park right once again i repeat there are beautiful roses in this park two your story has no fun in it so we have to start the sentence using there so there is no fun in your story the answer will be there is no fun in your story three we have no secrets between us we have no secrets between us you have to start the sentence rewrite it using there there are no secrets between us there are no secrets between us four my village has two primary schools so we will rewrite it using there there are two primary schools in my village i repeat there are two primary schools in our village in my village okay it should be in my village number 5 this problem can be solved in two ways this problem can be solved in two ways so beginning with there there are two ways to solve this problem there are two ways to solve this problem right students next fill in the blanks in the paragraph below with words from the box huge big foolish interesting tiny unlucky last so let's give a try using this words we have to complete the sentences so let's give a try there was a big eid fair in our village we could buy anything from a small or small word is not there tiny toy to a big camel i went to the fair on its uh, last day with uncle and bhaiya i went to the fair on its last day with uncle and bhaiya we went to the lucky shop it was very interesting i tried my luck but did not win any prize later uncle told me that i was more foolish than unlucky right students let us revise it i will tell you the answer once again and you pay attention there was a big eat fair in our village we could buy anything from a tiny toy to a big camel i went to the fair on its last day with uncle and bhaiya we went to the lucky shop it was a very interesting i tried by luck but did not win any prize later uncle told me that i was more foolish than unlucky well students go through the exercises once again and recollect what i discussed what answers i told and then you try on your own and write down in your notebook always focus on the rules always focus on how i was explaining it how it is done focus on the examples and just try to do it on your own right students friends before we end this lesson i would like to present before you a small video clip on indian village fair i hope you will like it indian village fair surprisingly is world famous it is a part of our deep rooted culture and we should always try to learn from it how the villages how the customs and rituals are embedded in this village fair so let's have a look
Well, amidst the hustle and bustle of the modern city line, one often loses track of culture and identity. Now, what if a village suddenly sprang up right in the middle of a metropolitan city? Here's a report by Vion's correspondent Siddharth. <laughs> It's an attempt to recreate a village inside a teeming metropolis. You have farmers, organic food and much more. It's a very interesting experience. Um, uh, my son's been able to ride on a cart and, and see cows up close and seeing the goats and he's had a lot of fun with that and uh, just the colors and the, the music obviously um, I don't know a lot bigger this fair at a college compound seeks to create awareness about traditional lifestyles and agriculture among city bred students and foreign visitors my village festivities back to Chennai which is a metropolitan city the fantastic experience and in fact I brought with me my sister and uh, my niece who have come from London, they are enjoying this festival to the core. Festivals like this are very important in today's world or today's context basically because our children, our grandchildren should have a connect with what is our culture. Traditional games and a plethora of food preparations help visitors take a trip down memory lane. And shopping of handicraft items completes the trip. The vibrance and color of an Indian village fair is much more than what words can express. But as Indians increasingly move away from their villages, we are losing track of our culture and identity. But initiatives and village fairs like these in cities can help Indians relish and re-experience the good old days. This is Siddharth Vion. If you have any query, you can always shoot up a mail to me. I will come up with more interesting videos. Till then, bye-bye.